We're now going to be looking at the floors. We're looking for cracks in the tiling. The intention again is to see if there's any movement, anything happening in the, in the slab. If something has moved in the slab, cracks would appear in tiling on the ground floor. There's some boxes that are obscuring our view, but you know, the crack would run beneath the boxes and show. Okay, always looking very good. We're in the laundry room. So far, no cracks at all. And go into the master and look at the floor there. Yep, master's fine. Yep, okay, so floors are looking good. We're now going to be looking at the floors. We're looking for cracks in the tiling. The intention again is to see if there's any movement, anything that's happened in the, in the slab. If something has moved in the slab, cracks would appear in tiling on the ground floor. There's some boxes that are obscuring our view, but you know, the crack would run beneath the boxes and show. Okay, always looking very good. We're in the laundry room. So far, no cracks at all. I'm going to go into the master and look at the floor there. Yep, master's fine. Okay, so floors are looking good. The next inspection is of the windows. I'm not going to video it all because I have to use both hands to go through. Just a tip, um, this is your weather seal in your window. This is a brush here, okay? And it's well worth keeping this whole area clean and this here clean along the top here because that will improve the seal and that will reduce the hot air coming in in summer and reduce your air conditioning costs. We're now inspecting the electrical panel. The first thing we want to make sure is that we've got a floating neutral and ground, and we have. This is your neutral, this is your ground, and they're connected. It's called a floating neutral and ground. And then we're going to look at the wiring. Is it correct? Yeah, the sizes are right. The sizes are right here. And just a small tip here, this yellow button is the reset for the arc fault detectors, the master bar bedroom and the guest and master bedroom. Um, if ever you put a plug a, um, a vacuum cleaner into the master bedroom outlet, you might find that it trips. The reason it does it is these arc fault detectors detect sparks anywhere on the circuit and vacuum cleaners often have sparky motors, they make a lot of sparks and that will trip it. So a tip here is plug it into one of the outlets in the hallway, not on the, uh, not the, um, in the bedroom. Now going to check out the branch circuitry. What we're looking for is that these are correctly wired. We have a tester here, it tells us whether the wiring is correct. And both the lights come on, which is correct. Now if I go down to here, we have a GFCI. I'll trip that GFCI. The lights should go out. They do. And I'll reset the GFCI and trip it here and the lights go out. So the GFCI is working correctly in the bar in the kitchen. We go and check the master bath for that too. Here's the master bath. GFCI, lights are on. Trip it. That's fine. Trip it. That's fine. And we'll do the master bathroom upstairs. Same routine, I won't film it. 
This is the heat and air unit. We're actually on the second floor. Um, observation is it's all in good condition. The uh, heating is electrical and of course the cooling is electrical. Uh, here it's all correctly fitted, got U bends, everything for the condensate. This is your filter door. You open that door, swing it open, and you can see the filter in there. Those filters need to be changed regularly. Um, just to keep them clean, otherwise they'll re impinge the flow of air. That falls well about that. We've got a couple of other tests I'll be making, but I can't film it because it takes two hands. I can't hold the camera and do it at the same time. But uh, generally speaking, the installation is correct. In fact, not generally speaking, the installation is correct. This is a static water test. Basically, we put a pressure gauge on the system and uh, open up the tap and see what pressure we get to. We've got to a pressure of just under 60 pounds. Actually, it peaked at uh, 70, but it's settled at 60 pounds, which is good. So we've got good water pressure. We're now going to go and find the, um, the, the, the shut-off valve and the water meter for the house. We're now going to look at the water meter. It's at the front of the house, at the curb. Um, to open it up, you need a key like that. You can buy those from Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, I say you can open it up, sometimes you can't. There we go, that opens. That's the water meter there. Uh, it's all covered in grunge, very typical. And the cutoff valve is here. That's the cutoff valve. And you can see at the present time that there's water being consumed. Can you see the little diamond there or triangle that moves as water is being used the dishwasher is running at the present moment here's a tip if ever you think you've got a water leak in your main plumbing system an easy check is to turn everything off and then come and look at that little triangle if it's turning you've got a leak if it isn't you probably haven't now I'm going to check to see that we've got good drainage I'm going to just say we have because the dishwasher's been running and it would have um, it have backed up by now if there was any blockage. But that's the, uh, the main stack and it's running too and at the same time you can hear that the dishwasher is pumping. It just stopped. Okay, that's good. We'll go through into the master bedroom and we'll check for the drainage there. Both faucets are running. If there's any problem at all, we'll start to see water backing up into the tub. It's running and it's draining away. While that's running, we'll go and check the upstairs to make sure the bathroom up there is going to run properly. We're now upstairs. It's running. Looking at the Blue run. Turn on the taps here. And we have flow there. Shower works. Drains are working. And we're not backing up. We're now back in the master bath, as you can see, there's no backup in the sinks, it's all draining very, very well. So we can see the drains run perfectly. Let's turn all that off. Serve water as much as we can.